So, you've grown some good, mature, healthy-looking cannabis plants. You've got nice-looking buds, and you're champing at the bit to reap the benefits of your months-long labor. The question is, how can you tell exactly when the peak time for harvest is? This is a really good question, as harvesting cannabis at peak time can make a massive difference in terms of the quality of the high and even the effects produced in general. Your best indicator by far for identifying peak harvest time is going to be monitoring the visual appearance of your trichomes. Just because you've got a good-looking flower and healthy, mature buds doesn't mean it's time to chop your plants down and start smoking. You need to use a jeweler's loop or magnifying glass to visually observe the appearance of the trichomes, which are the small, clear, mushroom-looking bulbs scattered all over the bud. Trichomes are resin glands, and this is where the majority of THC, terpenes, and other cannabinoids accumulate on the plant. Observing the visual appearance of the trichomes will give you a great indication of when the buds have reached maximum potency and are ready for harvest. So, how do you do it? Again, you'll need a jeweler's loop to be able to closely inspect the appearance of the trichomes. You don't need to spend a lot of money or buy anything crazy. A basic 30 or 40 times loop magnifier on Amazon, which you can get for around 15 bucks, will do just fine. By the way, for direct access to growing experts and tips and techniques from one of the best cannabis growing communities online, check the link in the description and join our free Cannabis Cultivators Facebook group. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for weekly growing videos and so much more. Now, let's get back to the topic. In the earliest stages of maturity, almost all of the trichomes on your bud will be clear or translucent. This is a sign that, while the plant is healthy, the cannabinoids have not yet matured and the flowering phase isn't complete. From the first moment you notice trichomes forming on the flower, try to monitor their appearance daily. After a week or so, you'll notice some of the clear ones will start to turn opaque or milky. This is an indication that the flowering phase is nearing maturity and that the resin glands are filling with rich, potent THC and other compounds that will ultimately influence the effects of the high. You want to look for trichomes where both the stem and the bulbous heads are milky. Again, this is not an overnight process, so be sure to monitor daily and observe day-to-day -day changes. After another week or so, you'll notice some of the milky trichomes will start to turn amber or gold. This is the indication you're looking for that tells you that the buds have reached peak maturity and are ready for harvest. That being said, all of the trichomes on your plant aren't going to mature and change color at the same time. In other words, you're not going to notice a super obvious and consistent transformation from clear to milky to amber. When visually observing with your magnifying glass, you'll notice some of the trichomes are clear, some are milky, some are half milky, and others are amber. This is when patience is key. Even from the time you notice the first amber trichome, it could be a week or even two until the plant reaches full maturity. Be patient and try to wait until all or nearly all of the trichomes have turned fully milky and there's about a 70-30 mixture between milky trichomes and amber ones. For most strains, this is when the flowering cycle has reached peak maturity and the plant is ready to be harvested. If you make the mistake of harvesting too early and you've still got clear trichomes, it's not the end of the world, but you're not going to enjoy the full effects of your plant's potential. You're going to get a lot of tannins and chlorophyll in your smoke instead of mature cannabinoids, which isn't conducive to a great smoking experience. This is a very generalized rule of thumb, but some growers say immature trichomes, that is, ones that are still relatively clear, produce more of an energizing, stimulating high. If you wait too long, on the other hand, and harvest after all the trichomes have gone amber, you'll usually get more of a sedative, body stone type of high. You can use this as well as a basic harvesting guideline depending on the effects you want the plant to produce. But again, this is a very generalized rule of thumb and is highly variable depending on the strain. Lastly, to really ensure maximum potency and maturity of your buds before harvest, it's important to change up your lighting schedule in the days leading up to harvest. Once you've reached roughly the 70-30 stage of milky trichomes to amber ones, you'll want to adjust your light exposure and temperature for two to three days before cutting your plants down. Have anything else to add? Feel free to leave a comment below and share your thoughts with our growing community. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe right here to Way of Leaf for weekly videos and the best instructional cannabis growing content on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.